Hi, my name is Jacob. Maybe you've been following me on this channel for a while. Maybe you're new. If you're new, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will share my motivation for starting my self-development journey five years ago. Five years ago, I was about to turn 30. I think a lot of people, by the time they're about to turn 30, take a look at their lives and ask themselves, is this it? Is there something I need to change? Should I go in another direction? What is missing in my life? Your 30s also seems to that's the place where you need to make things happen. Otherwise, it can be difficult when you're in your 40s and 50s and so on. First of all, I took a look at my social life and dating life. And I asked myself, was I having the friends I wanted to? So I also asked myself, well, what is missing from my single life? This is where it all changed for me because I started to hang out with other people. I started to get out of my comfort zone, start meeting people from Facebook groups, starting traveling more, start traveling more alone by myself to countries I've never been to, trying to pushing myself in every regard to meet new people and expand my comfort zone. This is also where I took my dating life more seriously, but what kind of girls I wanted to date, where I would meet them, what preferences and standards I would have to be in a relationship with a girl. Around the time I turned 30, I hired a mentor who helped me, who was able to teach me how to walk up to girls and talk to them in the middle of the streets or in nightclubs without me drinking alcohol totally sober. I don't want to go too deep into that story. If you want to check this video out where I explain more, it pops up here or here. Then you can see what changed my life by hiring that mentor. So it started with me expanding my comfort zone, meeting new people, meeting more girls. That kick-started my self-development journey. Later on, I also added to climbing up the career, focusing on bringing value to the workplace and developing skills that could help me accelerate in my career. You take that energy from going to challenge yourself where you think you are not able to do it. And when you then succeed or fail, either way you'll learn that it's not the end of the world to get rejected or to fail. And also you'll learn that it's part of the process. When you learn that, for example, when you're meeting new people and dating girls, then you will quickly also realize that this is a journey you can take into other areas as well. Your fitness, travel, career, making money, all that. And you can come pretty far in just a few years and it's never too late to start. I've made a lot of good friends in these five years. I've had a lot of great experience traveling with myself, with people and meeting people along the way. I highly suggest that you keep pushing and expanding your comfort zone and learn how to do things even if you don't feel ready. That's how I started. I've just trained myself to go out even if I didn't feel like it. If I committed to go out, I wanted to go out no matter how I felt before. And when you learn this, the process and the journey will become a lot easier for you. If you want to learn from me and my journey, how you can accelerate in your self-improvement journey when it comes to expanding your social circle, getting out of your comfort zone, facing your fears, or in general just climbing up the career ladder or how you can succeed more in your life. Then you can sign up for a group coaching I'm hosting every Monday. Right now it will only be $10 a month for weekly calls where we discuss finances, social circles, networking, career and self-improvement in general and how you can take it to the next level. But the price will increase to $25 per month. So sign up now or before the 2nd of April, then you will lock in your price at $10 a month. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe I'll see you in the next one.